in St. Joseph County is making a big change in its emergency services. Sturgis is launching its own ambulance service. News 8's David Horak explains why the change is needed in the first place and how they're investing in it. It's all new at 7. Yeah, when anyone calls 911 for a medical emergency, they expect an ambulance to arrive in a timely manner. But that is a key reason why a big change is coming to the city of Sturgis. The EMS industry as a whole has really seen uh, some challenges over the you know last two years, specifically uh, with the pandemic uh, relating to staffing. Uh, those staffing challenges trickle down to extended response times and ability to staff uh, ambulances. Right now, the city's contracted with life care for ambulance services. Here's the breakdown of those times. From July to September of last year, life care's quarterly report shows nearly a third of the priority one calls, the most serious ones in the city, were late, with 20% of the priority three calls also taking too long. Sturgis Department of Public Safety Director Ryan Benazic says these are numbers far are higher than the response time standards set in the contract. What can we do to help the community out? There's community need here um, with EMS. How can we assist that problem? The solution? The city will run its own ambulance service, which would respond to emergency calls only. They hired three additional personnel, and they also bought two additional ambulances with full equipment and established an ambulance fund. This all totaled around $588,000, which city commissioners approved by reallocating the city's budget. Bonatzik hopes the new staffing model will keep response times as low as possible and prevent burnout a common issue among ambulance personnel. Making sure we're staffing accordingly to uh, cover those calls, but also taking into consideration that work-life balance and how do we match that up with the call volume. We kind of jumped in both feet and are excited to be able to provide this, this service to our community moving forward. Now, City Manager Mike Hughes says that the city is projecting a net loss when it comes to the finances, but as for the equipment and staffing, everything should be ready to go when they make the official switch May 1st. We are in Sturgis, David Horak, News 8.